Live and in HD, this is ABC 7 News at 11. On your side. And good evening, everyone. First tonight at 11, a warning for parents after multiple reports of a suspicious man watching, even following young children. It's happening in the area around McLean Central Park in McLean. Ashley Coleman is there tonight with the details. And so what's being done there, Ashley? Well, Allison, police tell me they are aware of these reports. However, no suspect has been identified. No arrests have been made. And that's pretty unsettling for this neighborhood known as a very safe one. Jody Terniski has been taking her two little girls to McLean Central Park for years. Safe neighborhoods, safe area. You know, you go out here, you feel comfortable anymore but as much. Now, police did question one man, but found he hadn't committed any crime. They are urging parents and children, hey, if you feel uncomfortable about any situation, call police. Reporting live in McLean tonight, Ashley Coleman, ABC 7 News. Okay, Ashley, thank you very much. Well, we have new details tonight about a deadly crash involving an ambulance in Calvert County. Sheriffs tell us the ambulance was heading south on Route 4 in Prince Frederick when a car crossed into its path. The driver of the car was killed. The ambulance driver also hurt and was flown to Baltimore. New at 11, an emotional plea for help in finding the person responsible for a deadly hit and run that robbed a little boy of his mother. Tiara Jackson died June 8th after multiple cars hit her on the outer loop. ABC 7's Jay Corf spoke to her parents tonight, and he's in our newsroom with the story. Jay? Allison, uh, Jackson's parents are understandably reeling from their daughter's death in that hit and run crash. While they're calling on the public for help in solving this case, they're also taking on a new unexpected role. Princeton Jackson knows very well the person in the picture, the woman. That trail. Well, things are clearing out after some downpours earlier tonight. Our cameras actually caught this storm. Take a look. Rolling through southwest D.C. earlier, and it just drenched the people who were down near the Jefferson Memorial. ABC 7 Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill joins us now with what to expect next. Hi there, Doug. Hello there, and at this hour, we have some showers still in the area, but early this evening, some people enjoyed a beautiful sunset like this. Videographer Bruce Buchholz got this image along the Potomac River, looking uh, back northwestward towards Roslyn, a beautiful evening. And then during the night, take a look at our Doppler radar live right now. Still some late night showers and downpours on uh, Doppler right now. We have uh, east of Baltimore over the bay and the upper eastern shore. Some thunderstorms west of Washington, some uh, downpours. One little thunderstorm near Front Royal. All of this will diminish over the next couple of hours. 79 in Washington now, 72 in Frederick, 76 in Fredericksburg. And overnight, the showers will diminish. It'll be partly cloudy. Areas of fog, 65 to 71. Very warm and muggy tomorrow and more showers, more storms. Evaluate at the hospital. So the man who unveiled the massive government surveillance program may be in hiding, but he isn't staying silent. Coming up, new details about the case as he answered questions in an online chat. Plus, the speed limit could be dropping on some busy area roads. We're going to tell you where when ABC 7 News at 11 returns in 60 seconds. And weigh in. Well, we have a warning tonight for three area beaches. We'll tell you where the water is off limits ahead. Plus, what may have saved a teenager's life as he went toe to toe with a shark. And Allison, that man from Maryland who leaked all that government information about surveillance programs. Well, today he answered questions in an online chat. Find out what he said and what people think of him coming up. Remain silent today. Edward Snowden instead answered questions in an online chat. Tom Rousey's in the ABC 7 Satellite Center with the new details and reaction tonight. Tom? Well, Allison, former Howard County resident Edward Snowden answered questions online from a secret location today, believed to be somewhere in. By information derived from this suspicionless surveillance. Center. I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. Well, new at 11, a teenager fights off a shark attack, and this was off the coast of Texas. Beverly Beach, Arundel Road Beach, and Magathy Beach. It's not clear what caused the spike in bacteria. Anyone who comes in contact, though, with the water should immediately clean off with warm water and soap. So it's that time of year, uh, beach time, and it's yep. definitely feeling like summer out there. Yep, and we're going to get more and more of it. Now, we haven't had many days of 90-degree heat. We're only three so far this year, a lot uh -huh. more in years gone by. But i got a hunch we're going to get more in the summer mode here. It's getting Let's closer. start you off with the night. Uh, videographer Ben Rice was uh, just down the road in Arlington, the Air Force Memorial, uh -huh. put together a little time lapse of this uh, little downpour that ran through the nation's capital looking back towards Arlington here. And there you can see it was only a couple miles wide, but the shower came through and then moved across the district, southeast Washington, adjacent Prince George, 
Edwards County. Pretty heavy downpours. And that's the kind of evening we had. If you weren't under one of these, then it was a beautiful... Just go. around the corner. We'll have to celebrate. That? Yep. Okay, Doug. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything to celebrate in sports tonight? Almost summer, and they're talking about the Stanley Cup. Beantown yep. is rocking with hopes of another cup. The Tigers and O's battle in Motown, while the Nats and Phils entertain the folks in the city of brotherly love. And it's all coming up next in sports. And now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Well, the Nationals, as you know, have been battling right around the 500 mark for weeks now. They get some offense going and the pitching squeaks and then the hitting stops and the guys on the mound don't get any support. And I've said this before, but it's getting late early. Game tied at one. We go back and we pick it up in Philly. With a broken foot. And Washington, of course, had a broken heart once they... I know. Three games with a there. broken foot. Yeah. Ouch. All right. Well, a cat, speaking of ouch, goes on a wild ride. A thousand miles under the hood of a car, to be exact. We're going to show you the rescue and how he's doing now. Next on ABC 7 News at 11. Well, bring on summer, it's like coming. it or not, it's right? It's coming. A few isolated showers out there this evening. Now, tomorrow in our seven days, showers and thunderstorms are a bit more likely. Very warm and humid. A lingering shower Wednesday as drier air comes in. Thursday looks great. Friday, pretty nice for the first day of summer. And your first weekend of summer, very warm and humid. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. Jackie Jarris gets you out the door. And good morning, Washington, with your go-to-work forecast for Tuesday. Very Looks good. good. Mm -hmm. All Done. right. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us tonight. Jimmy Kimmel Live is next. Have a great evening. The ABC7 Weather Center is sponsored by Belfort Furniture. Thanks for watching ABC7 News. Honored with the Walter Cronkite and Edward R. Murrow Awards for Excellence in Broadcast Journalism.